Oh, hey there, guys. Welcome to my tier list. I came up with this tier list with the help from Oxford and Harvard, so you know it's factual. Goldian. I'm not going to delve too much into it. You know why it's here. I know why it's here. The cultural impact on World of Warcraft this has had is immeasurable. It's the first thing you come to as a human. It's on South Park, and it's got ERP as Outback. I'm not going to say any more. We're putting it as an S tier. It's just one of those things. You've just got to deal with it. Let's move on. Warning. Be careful, guys. We're entering Horde territory now. It's not all sunshine and comfiness. But we are in Brill. And let me tell you, it's not brilliant. <coughs> However, I have to say, Forsaken are the best race on the Horde. Simply because of the fact that they used to be human. And that shows with the architecture. It's beautiful. No smelly orc would be able to produce this aesthetic. Imagine that. The race that has the best buildings on the Horde used to be a human. Pathetic. This is why you need Blood Elves. Regarding the inn, it's a dirtier version of Goldshire. And to be honest, it gives it some charm. The music's good, and it just feels right. It feels homely. Of course it has its downsides. That being the closest capital is Undersea, which is the worst capital on the Horde. On the bright side, it's right next to a Zeppelin. So you can go somewhere better, and you can fuck off to Orgrimmar. Or the next inn that we're going to be taking a look at. S tier. So with that, we now truly know what the best inns have to offer. But even a list with all the best inns has the least best. The worst. And we're going to start that off right now. Westfall. It has no roof, mate. How can you call this a proper inn when it hasn't got a roof? But I understand the circumstances. They're under a constant raid from the Knolls and the Defias. But then again, I don't actually care. That's something you have to consider when you open up an inn. I've got no sympathy for him. Sorry, you're getting a fucking F. But it does have character, so it made the list. You'll get a bit wet, but it does get the job done. Fair enough. F in the chat. We're at Orgrimmar Inn, guys. We've all waited for it. And uh, yeah, to the untrained eye, it's not very good. However, there's a few things people are missing. Just kidding. It's a bad inn. It probably fucking stinks. Alright, I'm kidding. But I'm also kind of not. Orgrimmar itself is actually a really nice city. I mean, well, I mean, I wouldn't say nice, but it, it's, it's, it looks alright. But this inn is just terrible. There's no seats. There's no beds. Seriously, there's no barmaid. Like, mate, what are you doing? Whoever made this inn, he needs to be held accountable. I'd maybe suggest, like, prison time. Probably, like, 10 years just my opinion but yeah this inn is carried by the capital nothing else nothing to offer i'm gonna put it as a beta <laughs> now i think that was quite a fair rating right that was generous and speaking of generous can we talk about how generous the devs were to give stormwind this inn the trade district inn it's a nice inn it's practical it absolutely shits all over orgrima and if someone did shit all over orgrima you wouldn't even be able to notice look at the state of that what a fucking mess but the Traders Inn, it fits all the RP you would expect of an inn. It has beds, it has chairs and that, it's got books. I guarantee everyone has sat down on these at least once. But it's missing something. And that's a barmaid, or a bar bloke. I'm going to bang this as an A tier. Could have been an S. So close. Let's have a quick sniff of Feramore Inn. Feramore Inn, a copy paste of Goldshire, kind of flies under the radar. The only really significance of this is if you like pop in during your Oni runs or something. But who's done Oni in the past six months? Pretty good zone. Pretty good in. Like I said, copy paste. We're banging you in the C tier. Sorry, mate. Gadget Zan, Frying Pan. This inn is the safe haven for if ever it kicks off in Gadget Zan, and it happens a lot. We've all been there. You're chilling one minute, admiring the craftsmanship of this beautiful land. And then all of a sudden, someone gets one tapped. It all kicks off. You run in the inn. You admire the beds. You admire the food. You admire the hammocks. You perhaps go grab a nice drink from the barmaid. Oh, wait, there's not a barmaid. Sorry, that's going to cost you the est here. You're going to put in A, mate. Unlucky. Crossroads. A cross in the road. Who would have thought? The orcs actually managed to make an inn with beds in it. I'm lost for words. Home to the infamous Baron's chat. You can't go wrong being here. Nice bit of drama, quite comfy. Just a perfect way to spend your Friday night talking shit in the Baron's chat. This bad boy's getting an A tier. 
congrats. Booty Bay. This is a very good inn. It has all the criteria that you need. We have a bar bloke, a barmaid man. We've got seats and we've got a bed. It's cross faction, so you can have a little bit of beef with the boys. The pros, it's a pirate inn. It's comfy. Cons, goblins, mate. No one likes them. And the world buff drops here, which you may see as a pro or con. I personally think world buffs are kind of a cancer on the game, but that's just me. You may even like coming here just to dispel people or kill them when it drops. That may be a pro for you, and for that reason, this is going to get an S tier. I kind of want to drop it down a bit just because of Heart of a Car, but I won't. I'm going to be nice, I'm in a good mood, and I like a bit of pirate RP every now and again, to be honest. Next in, Scenarian Hold, Syllaphus. This entire zone is about as fun as having syphilis, therefore the inn is also going to be bad. That's a general rule of thumb. But look at all these insects. It's not going to be nice. They're going to nibble at you. They're going to get in your hair. They're going to piss you off. And that's something I'm not looking for when I'm cruising about looking for an in to log out at. Shit hole. I'm going to hit you with an F. Now, before I hit you with the best in in the entire game, in fact, I'm going to give it another tier all by itself. Let's talk about Darkshore. And let me tell you, when I was young and I arrived here, the Night Elves, man. Oh... It made me feel some type of way. And look at the view. The, there's boats and shit. The aesthetic, honestly, is top tier. And I feel bad for hating on it for so long. I'm sorry, Night Elf Mains. I'm going to have to give it a high A tier. Maybe an S. We'll put it in the middle. Calm down. Stop what you're doing. Unless it's watching the video, then you carry on. Because I'll tell you what, it's next in. It's a mad ting. It's a mad ting. That's all I can explain it with. Mad ting. The Hinterlands. Yeah. I thought that would be the reaction. Look at this. It has beds. It has a fire. It has chairs. And most of all, it has an innkeeper. And two bars. Seriously, you can bring the whole fucking squad down, mate. You can bring down an army. You can bring down a jet plane. It's so big, you can park. You could literally park a jet plane in here. Bring the guild down. Bring some maidens, mate. Have a little bit of a fucking RP day. I don't know. Go on a fucking bender. This is a top rank one multi-glad RP spot. And that's a fact. Take it or leave it. We're done with this. We're giving this the god tier ranking. No take backs, no revisions. This is fact. The best ins in the game. Bonus ins. All right. There's a few more ins that I missed out and I just didn't really want to add them. For whatever reason okay so first we've got the dumbara in it's a nice inn it is cozy but it likes a flat path and it's too far away from if to be viable might be decent for rp b red ridge it was a good zone but it's a gold shire in clone lost its viability in phase three b whole town inn my personal favorite but it can't be classified as an inn because there's no innkeeper if it did this would get an s grongol it's in a good location and it's got the zeppelins but can you see these beds? Absolute shit, mate. See. So what do you think? Was my list correct or was it wrong? Did I miss any good ins? And what's your favourite? Thanks for watching. Yeah, beast.